Hey guys, Ray again, and in honor of the new Star Wars movie, I made an all-aluminum Millennium Falcon. Yes, this thing is aluminum, and yes, it is heavy. It's got a bead blast finish. Uh, it's in honor of the new solo uh, Star Wars movie that came out just a few days ago. I'd like to thank Jose at City Aperture for giving me the files to make this. I'll put a link to his channel and his video of laser cutting a wood one in the description of this video. I'd also like to thank C4 Labs. They are the ones that made the files. I'm not sure if they're still available, but I'll put a link to their site in the description of this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made it. So, this is the material we're going to be using. It is a sheet of aluminum, 50-52, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, and measures 4 foot, as you can see here, by 8 foot. And I'm going to be using the vast majority of this sheet for this one little project. For those of you new to my channel, this machine behind me, this is a water jet. Yeah, I have a water jet and I use it all the time. I'll put a link in the description of this video on the ins and outs of how this machine functions. For now, let's get on the table and start cutting. There you have it. The finished parts all cut. Look at the size of this Millennium Falcon. It's going to be pretty pretty nice. I just got to take it out of this plate now. You can see these little tiny tabs. Now it's not necessary for a part this big, but when you have parts that are this small, they can fall into the table. So I went ahead and tabbed all the pieces so that we can remove them, sand the tabs down, and get it put together. Additionally, there are so many pieces, I needed to know which ones are which. As you can see, I went ahead and numbered everything on the sheet. Uh, all of these pieces. And now I just have to take them out, one at a time, and sand these little knobs off. But they break off very nicely. So now I'm just going to take and sand off these little nubs. Here I've got all the parts sanded uh, and laid out in a semi-organized fashion and there are a lot of parts. But uh, we're going to start with the base plate as you can see here. And uh, hmm, you can see from the scale this is going to be a pretty good sized piece and it's going to be very heavy. Here's where we are. I went ahead and super glued this together as an assembly. And don't worry, I did get just the right amount of super glue on my hands. So we got that covered perfectly. Let's see, this part right here is just under 20 inches long. So this is going to be a pretty good size aluminum Millennium Falcon. Right, here is how far I've gotten. Looks pretty good and this sucker is heavy. I'm gonna guess it's almost 20 pounds at this point. I stopped the, the time lapse because I have a little problem here. And let me flip this up so you can see it better. This part needed to go in here. Now, there's no instructions obviously, but I missed that this actually needed to be the first piece to go in before you got the two halves together. So if you do this puzzle, make sure you put this piece in first. Now I cannot get it in, and since it's not wood, it's not very flexible. So I think what I'm going to do 
because the slot is going to be visible, I don't want to cut any of this. But I'm going to cut back this corner here so I can slip it in at an angle and get it in close and then lock it in place. I think that'll work. Nobody will ever see it. It'll still be very strong, but uh, I gotta go to the bandsaw and take this part off. All right, so you can see I cut off that corner like I said I would, and that's the little piece that came out of there. And we're gonna see how this thing fits. There we go. It's actually a pretty darn good fit. I might just go ahead and when I glue this, glue this part right back up in here for extra support. But I don't even think it needs that. I don't think it needs it at all. All right, let's go back to the time lapse. Check this out, an all aluminum Millennium Falcon. It took three quarters of a sheet of aluminum and it feels like it. It weighs 21 pounds, uh, but we're not finished yet. If you'll see, the surface is less than homogeneous. Obviously I got my Sharpie marks on there and there's also some fingerprints made worse by the use of the uh, crazy glue. So I'm going to go ahead and bead blast this, glass bead blast this. One of the things that you did not see in the time lapse is right here, this little piece. There was, there's a notch in the frame, only no piece is included to uh, close that up. So I went ahead and cut a little piece of aluminum and put it in that notch. I don't know why there's a notch there. I think it's something they just forgot about. So you can see those smoky marks. Um, the crazy glue, when it evaporates, it, any of the oils on the surface uh, gets to be smoky. Um, I think they use that in forensic science actually to get fingerprints off of things. And for good reason, it works. Here it is in the bead blaster. Now, you're not gonna see that because it is very hard to actually film it inside there while I am bead blasting it. But you can see it's in there and we'll come back when it's done. Well, there she is, finished and bead blasted. You can see how it has almost like a primer gray look to it, but that is actually all I did was bead blast it. You can see how differently it looks now on all sides. So just to cover it, it's made out of 3 16 aluminum, 5052, weighs in at 21 pounds, and it is 19 inches long from the tip here to the back. And I'm wearing gloves because the oil from my fingers will leave uh, fingerprints on here and I don't want to do that. Let's take a look at the underside. There it is. All bead blasted. The details are nice, including that little extra piece that I added that was not part of the original file. I think it looks awesome. There it is, head on. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my future videos. Thanks again. So I know someone's gonna ask me, what did this thing cost to make? And I will tell you that it cost a lot. Just the aluminum alone that you see here is $300 in aluminum. The whole sheet is $400 and I used three quarters of it. Water jet time just to cut this ended up being a little over four hours, which means that the cutting alone was about $600. So right there you have about $900. The time I spent fixing the files, because the files were not water jet ready when I got them, took me about 40 additional hours. 
and the assembly took about 18. So there is a ton of time invested in this thing. It's very expensive. So if anyone is interested, please, one, I cannot sell it because it is a Star Wars item and you know how the licensing is, so I cannot sell it. But if you want to know what this one cost me to make, it cost me $900 just in straight costs. Um, if you start factoring in labor, you're probably about $1,500, $1,600. So it is a ton of time and it is a very expensive undertaking.